Hello everybody. These days I play a lot with uh, conductive things. I experiment with different materials and so on. But sometimes the density of conductive inks can play a really important role uh, for some types of coating systems. If the ink is too thick, this ink will not fit in some coating applying systems. Uh, so that's why the density of the conductive ink uh, need to be low as possible. So that's why I was focused uh, into this problem and I make two types of conductive inks which have a uh, low density. So one ink is here and you see This one is really nice, uh, so that's why I will name this uh, ink A. And the another ink is this. All of these two inks are water-based, basic. This one is a little bit better in the conductivity. Uh, this one will be the B. And this one, A. But this one is really good for uh, better applying on some surface. Uh, so first of all, I will coat some paper with uh, the A conductive ink. This one will stick really good to plastic. So this one is ready uh, and I need to dry this one because uh, this ink is water-based ink. Uh, this ink needs some time. But anyway, Really, really awesome. And also have uh, quite good flexibility. And now I will coat some paper with A, a B, B, B. I will also mark this paper. The B is this one. Also this one will stick to any plastic. Uh, 
Anton, we can also try some glass. I think on the glass you need two coatings. Now oh, it's better. This was the B type. Also the A. Will stick to glass. Also on the metal. Oh, this one got really good, the metal. This is the A type and this is the B type. Oh, actually this one also got really nice on the metal. So like I said, uh, these two inks will uh, stick almost to any surface. I try to coat these two inks on many uh, on many surfaces, and so far I don't get any problems. Oh. And now I need to wait that uh, the coatings will be dry and I will test the conductivity. The drying time is over and let's see what conductivity we get with these two paints. So this one is uh, this ink and let's see what we get Oops. fifty ohms fifty one ohms not bad really not bad and now the B ink Thirty six ohms. Not bad. So, like I said, uh, the B type is a little bit uh, more conductive, like E type. I will also show you something different. Some of uh, one of these inks I have in this one and in basic you can spray the ink on some surface Really awesome. So guys, that's all what I want to show you at this moment. Uh, in basic, I show you two types of water-based conductive inks, uh, which you can also uh, spray. These two inks have quite good uh, conductivity, also quite good flexibility. These two inks are water resistant and also the maximum the temperature uh, is around 200 degrees C. Like I said before, uh, I make a lot of experimenting on different types of conductive inks. In basic, I have my main uh, conductive inks, uh, which I'm really proud on these inks, but also I make more experimenting 
on different types of conductive inks. So actually I will go now uh, and yeah, we see us in the next video. Bye.